Um, my name is Sajal Das. I lead the product strategy and marketing at uh, Netronome. And let me um, quickly uh, give you a quick preview of who's attending today and why OpenNFP is important. So I have got two slides. So first of all, uh, once again, welcome uh, of all the folks here. Uh, these are the companies, academy, ac academic institutions, and labs that are being represented today. Uh, we have 58 individuals registered today, and uh, they come from seven academy institutions, 27 companies, and three labs. You see the names of those again, once again. Thank you for coming today. Also, thanks to our sponsor, Barefoot Networks, um, who was gracious enough to help us with this today. Um, why is OpenNFP important? And uh, this is an initiative we started uh, last year. And uh, Neil talked some of this. Uh, I have some more specifics on markets and applications. Uh, as we go around talking to customers and industry uh, um, in, the, in general, we see uh, data plane acceleration being applicable to t three prime markets, very high growing markets. Firstly, the uh, telco cloud NFB market, uh, you know, driving uh, you know, new services uh, for, uh, for mobile data. 4G, 5G, IoT networks. Uh, public cloud infrastructure as a service is another key uh, uh, market segment where we see uh, the need for data plane ac acceleration. And finally, uh, the revolution with OpenStack, where uh, many private clouds are being, uh, being deployed uh, using OpenStack. So in each of the three segments, uh, we see the need for data plane acceleration. Uh, lots of technologies involved there. Uh, Open vSwitch, um, Contrail vRouter, uh, stateful firewall with technologies such as connection tracking, IP tables, uh, as well as VNF acceleration. There are uh, many different VNFs um, that are available today that need to be accelerated using, uh, using hardware on the servers. And then there is uh, emerging technologies such as FIDO and uh, VVP that you also hear about. Benefits, I think... Uh, Neil touched on it, the biggest benefits that we see in the industry that people look for in terms of why they want to do data plane acceleration on servers is saving CPU cores and freeing up those CPU cores so that they can be made available to applications for generating revenues. Delivering higher performance to VMs is important, especially with uh, certain kinds of VMs uh, such as uh, big data VMs or virtual network functions that run networking functions in VMs, security, et cetera. Uh, delivery of new services rapidly is really, really important, uh, and that's enabled by being able to provide lots of VMs per server and also being able to do many different kinds of VNFs uh, at high speeds. And of course, all of these relate to multi-tenancy security and, and, the, and the new markets that are evolving uh, with 5G and IoT as well as traditional markets with 4G, uh, big data, et cetera. So many benefits of data plane acceleration. Uh, finally, um, why do you need to program hardware? Um, of course, the innovation that's happening in software is incredible, right? You see a lot of uh, the data paths evolving rapidly, uh, whether it's the open vSwitch or the vRouter. And new programming models are evolving. Uh, there is a C that has been there for a long time. Uh, P4 uh, has evolved rapidly in the last um, uh, one to two years. And then uh, eBPF, uh, another mode of doing uh, uh, data paths, uh, custom data paths, and programmable data paths uh, is, is evolving rapidly. And of course, new optimized VNFs are coming about rapidly. So all in all, uh, we, we see a strong need for uh, an open uh, kind of a, a free uh, um, .org, so to say, that enables these kinds of development. And we are doing our part in terms of providing the resources and, and, and the best effort serve, support we can do to help uh, in, this, uh, in this particular area that is very important to the industry. All right. So uh, with that, let me uh, turn it over to uh, Bapi. Uh, who's uh, been driving uh, a bulk of the effort uh, in Open NFP, working with uh, folks like you, working with the academy, and driving multiple different projects since the, since its inception last last year, and uh, he's going to go through uh, specifics on the agenda today and uh, and then uh, how how uh, things have evolved for Open NFP. Thank you.
Thank you. Um, so I'm going to try to be done. We, we have a pretty, uh, pretty good mixture of labs and lectures. And there are basically two models, that we, two models of using the NIC that we want to walk you through today. Model number one is where acceleration is transparent to the user. You have an application, you insert an Agilio ISA and it just becomes faster magically. And you'll, see, you'll, you'll have a couple of lectures and labs on that. And model number two is where you write the code in P4, or in P4 to implement a networking function of your choice on the, on the NIC. And we'll have a couple of labs and lectures on that as well. So, and at the end of the uh, end, we have about four talks, one from, uh, one from Huawei and uh, three from uh, academic institutions uh, about the research that they're planning around, um, around uh, programmable NICs and how is the intelligent server adapter and how it's relevant to them. Uh, hopefully we'll, and then in the middle of the day, of course, we have a good uh, talk from, is Vladimir here? Uh, no, not yet. So we, we have a talk from uh, Vladimir at, uh, at Barefoot on uh, programmable silicon at terabit speeds. Now, to help you with the labs, one important thing is we've got a whole bunch of people in nice shirts with the flaming tamale red who are here to help you do the labs where, uh, if you're stuck. So we've got about 10, uh, uh, 10, 10 people helping out with the labs. So feel, feel free to reach out to them and ask them anything you want if you're stuck at any point. OK. Um, so one of the things is, as Sujal mentioned, we have a lot of our research outlook, and now we've extended this to small, to companies as well, if you're building innovative products. We started out with academ academia, now we've extended it to companies. Is The whole point is, how do we reduce, eliminate the cost and technology barriers to doing research on programmable, uh, programmable networks, data plane acceleration? And so we offer a whole bunch of tools. I'll let you go to the website and check them out. The, the thing that we're really, I'm really proud of is the company has spent a lot of energy and effort to make it very inexpensive. I keep telling everybody it's cheaper than an iPhone, a 40 gig card. So it's very inexpensive to get started in networking research. And now we have a rich set of collateral to help you get started. There's, uh, I can see a bunch of people here in the crowd who have worked on different aspects, different pieces of code. So you can go build your own system fairly easily with the collateral we have. Um, finally, I think the big thing, hopefully we next year we continue to go, grow this well. We started out with three universities and literally one platform and a, a little content from last year's P4 workshop. One year later, we now have about 27, uh, 27 institu 26 institutions using, doing projects on OpenNFP. We support people through a Google group with about 100 plus, 100, 125 researchers around the world. We've got universities from around the world and research institutions from around the world. Um, I know we've got companies doing this as well. So my whole aim is how do you create, our whole aim is to create a group that helps people do research in programmable networks and can benefit from other people working in the same space. Um, we have... We had a good sequence, good fall seminar series, and we're going to do one more next year. So if you're interested in participating, if you'd like to share what you're doing, we'd certainly like to talk to you about it. And uh, there aren't too many universities here, but one of the things we do is we work with universities and to assist them in when they ask for research funding as commercial sponsors. So we work with, we worked with uh, the two universities, one for an NSF proposal and one for a state government proposal. So through the day, we, you can, one of the questions we, I get asked all the time is, how do you buy the hardware? And that is a pretty seamless process. Uh, go to a distributor, Colfax Direct, and just punch in your credit card and buy the product. You don't, you don't ever have to fill out a, a PO. There's nothing involved. So it's a very lightweight process. And accessing the SDK is almost as easy. So um, yeah, contact us. Use us. Contribute to the community. Please help grow this. Uh, if you're interested in programmable data plane research, and there's literally no constraints on, uh, on IP, ownership, nothing. It's a good community where you can, uh, there, there's a lot of people working, and hopefully all of us can grow and grow the space of uh, innovation, uh, grow innovation in this space. So with that, I am going to turn it, to, turn it over to JT for our first talk.